Alright guys, I'm going through the must-need perks for Velma in terms of 1v1. So I'm going to start off with um, the signature perk. And for 1v1s, this is useless because this perk only helps your ally when you're in two. So for this one, you want to, uh, for 1v1, you want to start with the one piece of evidence already because then you can get that police car quicker. Next perk that you want to have, definitely, you always want to have triple jump because that just helps out with every character in general. Then next, when it comes to the offense perks you can use either the snowball effect ice to beat you which is what i've got on at the moment or uh make it rain dog helps it quite a bit as well because it increases the projectile speed so those ones are definitely ones that you want to look into i use coffeezilla as my other utility perk uh i just find it very useful in general um uh, for velma because she's got so many different abilities that she has another alternative is yeah there it is tasmanian uh trigonometry sorry and that pretty much just uh lets you control your knockback influence more which is pretty useful for velma seeing as like she can die pretty early sometimes and this can save you um i don't have this one unlocked yet but that is pretty good that i've had on other characters yeah so those are all ones that you definitely want to have none of the defense perks are really ones that i use like i, I don't a kryptonian skin is right but you know it's not the most useful in the world Tune elasticity is all right in terms of ground uh, reduction, but wall bounce velocity doesn't isn't really relevant. Uh, and then the rest of these are pretty much uh, very, very average. So you can use the 7% ability cooldown refund after getting knocked back by a projectile, but that's just pretty much relying on you getting knocked back by a projectile. So it's not something that I would really use. Yeah, no, these are pretty much the perks I would go for. Like triple jump is necessity. Uh, Coffeezilla helps a lot with the different cooldowns and then that uh, stacked with Velma's book ability spread the knowledge which can also uh, reduce cooldown makes it really quick to uh, recover some of her abilities and then Ice to Beat You is very useful because pretty much all of Velma's or quite a few of them at least uh, use projectiles like the text bubbles and yeah uh, the knowledge is power etc yeah that's pretty much the stuff that I'll go for in terms of 1v1s and at the moment, I haven't played Velma in a couple days, but I'm at 18,000 overall. And I think my top has been 12,000, maybe 11,000 for Velma. So pretty much top 10,000, at least top 15,000 most of the time. Um, so yeah, no, that's what I would go for. And if I missed anything, let me know.